Hey what's up guys, in this video we will install SAP ABAP trial 1909 on Ubuntu. I have included three links down below in the description for detailed instructions on Docker installation, ABAP trial container deployment and a link to blog on this video. There is a detailed summary of system requirements in the link below but in short we need a quad core CPU or higher with 16 GB or more RAM and 150 GB disk or more. I have divided installation process in two parts. First, a prepared Docker container environment in Ubuntu and second, deploy a BAP trial Docker container. So let's get started. The very first step in the installation process is to update apt package index using apt uh, using sudo apt update. Um, to use the password. Okay, so our uh, apt package index is updated. Next, we need to install a few uh, prerequisite packages required for Docker container environment, and that we will be doing it with sudo apt install. Uh, the packages we need is apt transport, https, and CA certificates, call, GNU PG agent and software properties properties common okay uh, apt transport https so apt transport transport http yes okay so our prerequisite packages are installed now we will add docker's official uh, PGP key to APT package manager and also we will verify uh, PGP key using last eight characters. Now for that on Docker Hub they have a link. They gave a link to, to get the PGP key and also they provided a, a fingerprint to compare with. So let's do that. This is from Docker, uh, Docker installation page. This is basically giving the PGP key. That's okay. Now we need to verify uh, PGP, PGP key using fingerprint which will make sure that the key is actually the key which we get we got it from Docker. Now we have the uh, PGP key and we verified that. Next we will add Docker, uh, Docker repository to apt package manager using apt add repository command. Again this is the command I copied from the installation page because it's long. What this command does is basically it adds a repository from this docker download.docker.com Linux Ubuntu with the current release and then it's a stable version. You can have a development or a stable uh, repository. So this is a stable. Let's add repository. We need to update apt package man, package index one more time using apt, apt update sudo apt update since we made changes to a repository. Now we will install Docker CE using sudo apt install. We need Docker CE. We also need Docker CE CLI, command line tools and container d.io. Yes. Okay, so our Docker uh, CE is installed. If I run Docker, it should be accessible. Docker, and we can see we have it. However, there is a problem. So if I try to deploy, let's say Docker, um, uh, let's say PS hyphen A, we try to see all the Docker containers. And you, as you can see, it, it says permission denied because uh, the user is not part of a Docker group. So let's fix that. And we can do that by, by adding our user to Docker group so that we can do it with user mod hyphen ag docker group and then the user okay now since uh, we uh, now since we are part of a docker group let's reboot our system and try to log in back okay so it's not up oh, now it, it's back online let's log in Now the same command, if I do docker ps a we should not see an error message like what we saw earlier. We got the permission issue. So that's it. We have successfully installed Docker CE. 
The last step in a Docker installation process is to log in in Docker Hub using Docker credentials because a web trial Docker image is not available for anonymous users. So that we will do it using Docker and login. This will prompt for Docker Hub user ID and a password. So enter user ID and a password. Okay, apparently my password is wrong. So let me try one more time. Okay, login succeeded. This concludes our Docker container environment installation. Now we have a working Docker container environment and let's move on to the ABAP trial. First thing first, we need to pull a ABAP trial Docker image from Docker Hub using command docker pull. So first thing we need to do is uh, we run docker pull store SAP labs ABAP trial 1909, hit enter. And this will start pulling image from Docker Hub. The image is about 23 GB, which you can see it here, which will take about mm, half an hour to 45 minutes. So the download took about 25 minutes to complete. Now moving on, the ABAP container is a special container and requires a few kernel parameter updates in host and in a Docker container. These parameters either can be updated directly in syscontrol.conf or directly on a command prompt while uh, deploying container. Now, this is the command and these are the kernel parameters which will be passed to the docker container but there are few parameters we need to make sure those are available in the host operating system and those we can change with sudo nano in the file syscontrol.conf which is in the etc directory so let's go there uh, let me copy them And these, uh, these parameters are available in the setup instruction on Docker Hub, by the way, you can copy them. So that is a prerequisite to run our container. Now we can run our Docker container, which is again the same command with a bunch of uh, kernel parameters to the Docker container, uh, the Docker container name here, the host name, and bunch of ports. So these ports we use it to connect our SAP GUI or to deploy for the launch pad and so on. And the Docker image which we pulled out here. So let's run. Again, we have to accept terms and conditions, accept. Now, as we can see, the uh, container is started uh, deploying HANA DB. So the first step is to start HANA DB and then it will uh, uh, start the um, uh, NateViewer instance. So let's give some time. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes based on your system resources. The HANA DB is running and SAP NateViewer is also running. So let's open SAP GUI and try to connect to our brand new instance. I already created a connection here. Uh, I'll show you the connection settings. I'm using SAP uh, GUI Java version, so you need to manually enter those uh, settings. But basically here you can see the host name and then the port 3200. Now if we connect, it should work. And then we will use developer as a develop, uh, user ID and a, a login password. We can verify the product uh, information by going into system and system info and looking at product versions. Uh, here we can see ABAP platform 1909, uh, SAP Fury uh, Gateway 6. And that's it. Now, if you want to uh, stop the container, uh, you could use uh, Control C and that will stop the NateViewer instance along with HANA database. Or uh, you could specify in the Docker deployment parameter and you can specify a time and then the container will auto close on, on the reaching that time, time limit. Okay, so whenever we deployed our uh, container, a BAP container, you need to uh, keep your session open and then you have to access your SAP instance. And I kind of get you know, annoyed by keeping my session active. So I'm going to show you a way wherein you can deploy container in detached mode or in a background mode. 
and then you can use standard docker commands to start and stop that container so first thing i will show you the command so let's go back here now this is the command which we use to deploy our uh, docker container so let's first of all uh, remove our docker container by running docker rm and container name a4h was our container so we removed it now come back to our docker deploy command here we will remove this timeout parameter because we don't want container to to stop on its own and we will make change to this argument instead uh, with i we will add d which is a detached so i is interactive i think and d is for detach now when we run this command or when we deploy our uh, trial ABAP trial container system console will not show the output log messages uh, it will just deploy in a detach and you will not see anything on the on the on the terminal but that's not helpful right you want to see the uh, messages in, in in the background when container is is being deployed and that's where the docker standard commands uh, comes handy uh, we can use docker logs and we use uh, we can use the follow argument and that actually uh, mimics the way a container was deployed with interactive on screen so let's do that so if i deploy you can see the terminal is now clear the container is being deployed in the background so let's track the log container log by running docker logs with follow argument uh, docker logs we need a container name and then follow so you can see now we have a problem here even though we deployed our container uh, when we were in interactive mode uh, this, the command prompt prompted us to accept terms and conditions and we type them but since now container is deployed in a detached mode which is in the background we cannot go back and accept those terms and conditions right so as it says as the message says we need to add this this argument to accept terms and conditions instead typing them manually so let's go back and stop our container it stopped and let's get rid of the container again rm a4h it's gone let's go back to our command here and we'll put uh, i suppose we need it here uh, there instead at the end we'll try and then we can try this uh, invalid argument okay we need it at the end Control z so this is the, the the correct position we need to add agree terms and condition at the end so let's clear our screen one more time and hit enter so our container started let's go and check log so docker logs our container name and follow the log and you, as you can see it now the container is getting deployed in the background the same process it will start hana db and then it will start NetWeaver instance and then if you want to stop and start container you will you will be able to use standard docker commands let's say stop a4 that will stop the container and it will also stop the NetWeaver instance like what we did with control c and to start the container we can do docker start a4 edge and it will start the container if you like this video and all my other ideas make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already thank you so much for watching see you in next one